also but i would not like to celebrate it i would think that what is the use of celebrating birthdays oh my god that's nice <laughs> as always it was a very very nice experience talking to such a nice wonderful person who oh, nice hello hello sir hi avisha nice to see you back yeah same here same here even you feel that it, it was it was nice speaking last time with me and probably i will need to speak one more time with this person well well yes well, <laughs> okay fine that's a very very nice attractive head band that you have uh, looks like uh, uh, what is what is that called do you have a name for that head band that you have worn no what i know it's just uh, here ears i have four years here one yes thing. absolutely <laughs> here are some cat perhaps yeah absolutely that's that's what i was just about to ask you cat but uh, tell me uh, havisha uh, are you interested or do you purchase your own clothes when uh, your parents go for shopping and let's buy some clothes for the kids who selects your clothes or you tell your mummy no you don't select i will select my clothes who does the selection well my mother only selects my clothes and sometimes i choose ma'am mom i'm taking this mom i'm taking that but sometimes she says yes we'll take it then she takes uh-huh. and sometimes when i um, you know uh, take her you know, I, i force her to do she will take it and while the booking time i'll take it, while giving the money to the man she will take it out and take the all of the items yeah. or sometimes i just <laughs> make her do it. okay fine that is good that you have your own selection also and your parents listen to you and respect your selections as well but when you go out what are some of the colors that you choose what are some of the colors that you feel you love and you would want to wear them no well, i don't have any such favorite color to wear i just like um, i lagging pajamas and t-shirts especially half shorts half sleeves i am whether any color or not any color i'm okay with them So if I see some new ones which I like, I'll take it. Or I generally like ha- light colored, light colored things. Great. Yeah, there is a little bit of a lag in internet. I don't know whether it's from my side or your side, but uh, your voice is kind of stopping and starting. So no worries, we will continue. When it comes to clothes, Havisha. uh you told me last session that your native is jaipur yes I, and i can only remember uh, when it comes to traditional co- clothes jaipur has so much to offer in terms of colors in terms of kids wear and uh, bangalore that way you find many kinds of clothes as well but i feel when it comes to shopping and buying clothes jaipur is very very nice traditional coat clothes on kids is something that i really like what what do you have from jaipur do you have some kind of a speciality clothes i don't have much my my grandmother makes a traditional cloth of rajasthan which is lehenga chunna and she gave it to me i have some three four now but uh, now i'm big and i don't have any lehenga chunna but uh, in bangalore shopping list i have some but they are not as uh, it doesn't seem that they are uh, like traditional clothes are something different because traditional clothes have simple but somewhere i've seen it's different so in bangalore have i have i see those types of clothes so i have them them only those type of clothes only. i know that i know when you when you go to shop in bangalore uh, and when you look for jaipur kind of clothes you will never find the true ones it's always some kind of imitation uh, do you know what imitation means a difference no 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 duplicates probably what i mean to tell is when you want to go if you go to bangalore and uh, do that shopping and you want to if you ask the shopman shop uh, guy to give me some jaipur uh, clothes something that you find in your rajasthan and jaipur he will give you some but most of the times they are very imitation they are just cheap copy of 
the actual clothes from Jaipur. That is what imitation means. Not But, original Jaipur ones. Okay. Okay, that's what I mean. So, uh, but whenever there are, see, uh, when I talk about these Jaipur, your traditional clothes, you told Chunni and Ghagra and uh, all those things your grandmother gives you. What are the occasions when you wear these clothes? That you can't wear these daily. When do you wear these? I would like them wearing daily, but my mother restricts me to do so because I was small. I would. i would um, some food would get on it and my so my mother would uh, make me wear them traditionally mean sorry occasionally traditionally in the sense occasionally and and also traditionally on probably what are the kind of occasions do you wear on the uh, these kind of clothes uh i wear these kind of clothes when um, suppose we have a uh, that's holy diva holy diwali that type of festivals in our uh, it is celebrated so in that type of festivals we wear lehenga chunna gha lehenga chunna and uh, sometimes the boys wear dhotis so at that type of occasions we wear it yes. and yes. sometimes yes. uh you also wear it in other and sometimes my mother when you when i was little growing up and that my lehenga chunna was getting short then she would say wear it wear it wear it so i would wear it <laughs> but then i would not wear it because because uh, i would not feel comfortable and because mostly in uh, some fancy clothes i have seen that there's some glitter type and it slightly uh it's like um slightly doesn't fit my body it's not soft it's, it's slightly something something so i like so i like um hello like it much hello avisha hello yeah, avisha again yeah hello avisha yeah that that connection glitch is continuing to happen here uh there's a little bit of when you talk the audio stops starts stops starts so i'm not able to concentrate on what you are telling but in fact when you told that these traditional clothes are very uncomfortable to wear it kind of uh, kind of pricky from inside isn't it? it it pricks your body when you wear it so that is the reason you just wear it once in a while also isn't it well i didn't mean, i well probably i did not mean to say that i meant to say that some frocks which are not much traditional but lehenga chunna i like th- them i like it aha uh-huh. yeah I was wonderful but you know what uh, your clothes are might not go waste after it after you outgrow your dresses because you have a sister as well probably she can use your dresses once she comes oh, your age once she comes to your size will you share your clothes with your sister well i have another option if i would not what could i do with those clothes what can i do i will simply anyways it will be waste <laughs> so i will have to share it with my sister i have no other option <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> good now uh, you told me i remember very well last uh, session you told me you don't like movies uh, and uh, you just feel that it's just a waste of time but you told me in this session that you like to wear clothes on some traditional occasions like festivals and marriage and all that stuff now what are the kind of festivals that you generally like well some religious festivals like janmashtami and especially holi and diwali yeah wonderful festivals in fact my favorite festival happens to be holi what about you janmashtami is also very nice deepavali lots of noise lots of noise lots of crackers and everything lots of pollution as well sometimes but holi is very nice i enjoy it what about you which one is the one that you enjoy the best the best well in my place in bangalore i like diwali i like diwali but in Jaipur, I like Holi and Diwali both very much. Okay, fine. Is there a difference between the way 
uh, Holi is celebrated in Bangalore and Jaipur. Do you find something special happens in Jaipur when it comes to Holi? Yes, when it comes to Holi in uh, Bangalore, when, when we come down to play Holi, we won't have much friends and many people to play Holi. We will have some, but whereas in Jaipur, whether we have friends or we don't, it doesn't matter. We have lots of cousins, almost maybe seven or eight people will, seven or eight, eight children will be there. So we will have yeah. lots, we can have uh, nice fun. And if when it comes to Diwali, uh, here there, here in Bangalore, it will, it will be celebrated. Uh, in Diwali, it is no, no much need of many people to celebrate. Uh, it's, I feel that only one person is okay. Or one or two is okay last. <laughs> time when we had Diwali, uh, we yeah. people came, one of my brother's friend and and then we uh -huh. did, yeah, so we had fun. So, so in Jet, so in, okay. so in Bangalore, I like Diwali, but in Jaipur, I like them both because Diwali will also be celebrated nicely and Holi will also be celebrated nicely. Because uh, when when my father when my when I was in Jaipur, my uncle or Mamu we say Mamu would bring lots of crackers. Almost yes. I would feel like the whole uh, car is filled with crackers, and we would enjoy it seeing it. <laughs> I would run, and when I was small, I still remember I would run away from the uh, noise of the clack from noise of um, the crackers. And uh, my mother, who was my brother, was too small. I would yeah. run there and talk to her. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. That's a nice thing. In fact, you mentioned that during one of the Deepavali celebrations, your brother's friend had come over. But last session, you told me that your brother is very young. Uh, what is the age of your brother? He is three year three. He is in LKG. Oh, he's an LKG and he already has a friend who comes over to your house and celebrates festivals with you. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> he has a friend whose name is Krishna. He lives just above our um, floor and he plays with my brother. He In the park, he generally comes at late evening. So yeah. my brother comes at, um, early, at 6 o'clock. He must be coming at 7 or 8 okay so, yeah, sometimes and my brothers and my, my brother great, and great. he now, meets, became great. friends and they wow, became that friends. is wonderful now just like your brother sometimes do you get your own friends to your home and or do you sometimes go and join your friend at their house and play before corona this would happen but after corona Perhaps I'm very in less contact with friends. Yeah, that's very sad. Are you happy or sad about it? At least I am sad. I can't go to my friend's place. Neither can I get my friends to my house. I'm always sad about that because of Corona. What about you? Happy or sad? In Corona, everything changed. I could not meet in my friend's house. And anyway, so I gradually lost the taste of my calling my friend and talking and all. So I now I'm not I'm not talking much and nor I have um, too many friends or even I yes I have some I have but yeah. I'm not in much contact. You're not so in I, much contact, okay. But you know, Havisha, there is one thing. Corona finally is allowing all the students to go to schools and attend schools in person. Now you don't have to go through that sitting in front of the computer and attending your online classes. So I think very soon you will start meeting your friends, making new friends, and I'm sure you will start liking it as well. Yes, but we came to school. I would not, then also I would not talk much to my friend. And now the friend, now my, one of my best friends has another friend named uh -huh. Isha. Now she sits with her, but anyways, I have no problem. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Generally, when you go to school, uh, when you make friends, who is the first person to talk? Do you go to people and you make friends or people come to you and they make you their friends? Who is the first 
person to talk to another person when you are making a friend i'm not making anyone a friend i simply whenever some people sit with me i simply allow them they sit with me they talk yeah. to me and simple i'm not don't talk much i'm and i am we're not too harsh and i'm polite and i would not talk harshly to them sometimes they would say next time i also i will sit with you i would say no problem whoever comes i'll agree and ah. sometimes uh, some other person sits and sometimes some children i don't like also but it's okay if they sit with me i don't mind much yeah absolutely you're a friendly little girl and i you don't mind anybody sitting and you'll be friends with anybody very easily that's what i assume you are that the kind of person you are you won't mind being friends with anybody isn't it yes <laughs> okay see uh, uh, when was the uh, by the way when we are talking about friends the only time all the friends come over and meet at one place is when it is somebody's birthday and uh, when was havisha's last birthday and when was the celebration it was at 12th april but the celebration um uh, yeah the celebration i did not celebrate it and oh, before, because of and, corona again no corona not because of corona without also corona we could have fun with my sister and brother also <laughs> but i did not like to celebrate it i would think that what is the use of celebrating birthdays oh my god that's nice <laughs> i would want to talk about that a little bit more maybe but we are running out of time havisha but uh, as always it was a very very nice experience talking to such a nice wonderful person who oh, nice yeah tell me can i ask you one question yeah please do uh behind you i see a uh, lots of books so can i ask you what type of profession you have are you a teacher Yes, yes, Havisha. I'm a teacher, but not the regular one. I know you told your friend you're not okay, and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake.